just when I thought I could rest, look what I see when I'm opening my emails up after working all night. And so begins food vlog number I got my mozzarella popper pizza. Let's head back to the studios of Joe is Hungry, located in my adopted hometown of Fairmount, Georgia. Today we're reviewing the mozzarella cheese poppers pizza from Pizza Hut. Not to be confused with the stuffed garlic knots pizza they released back in November. You see that review. Where we're gonna check out the stuffed garlic knots pizza at Pizza Hut. I wasn't that crazy about the uh, stuffed garlic knots pizza, mainly because when they cooked it, it boiled all the cheese out of the little knots, and when you get it home, you have a bunch of empty knots with cheese soaked into the bread. What I expected from the garlic knots pizza was to be able to take a bite out of the knot and get a big bunch of cheese that you can dip in sauce and eat and enjoy. That didn't happen. Hopefully today, this new iteration will work out a lot better. What Pizza Hut's done this time is they've got mozzarella cheese poppers and put 16 of them around the edge of the pizza and cooked it all together. I apologize in advance for not speaking clearly. I've been awake all night, but the show must go on. There's nothing special about the pizza. You can get any pizza you want. I got pepperoni pizza mainly because I like pepperoni and it matched the advertisement on their website, so I would have something to compare it to. Just walking up, it cost me $13.99, $14.97 with tax here in North Georgia. I think we have a 7% tax. I'd have to break my calculator out to see if that is exactly what happened. Now it's time to take a look at the pizza and see what we actually got. Let's open it up. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. They look like they just made a pizza and, and stuck them around the outside. So I don't think it's, I think it's more of a marketing ploy than it is anything. I don't see why you couldn't get an order of poppers and some dipping sauce and get a pizza along with it. Another crass marketing ploy by Pizza Hut. They give you two things of dipping sauce because I guess you're supposed to be dipping those uh, cheese poppers. And actually they look pretty good. The cheese poppers, I don't know if they're baked or deep fried. I would assume they're probably baked because I don't think they own a deep fryer at Pizza Hut but I don't know. Pizza Hut guys out there, let me know, tell me. Educate me. This is a standard piece of uh, obviously pepperoni pizza. It looks like they gave me plenty of pepperoni for Pizza Hut anyway. See uh, Massey Pizza if you wanna see some real pepperoni. You get two poppers on there, so I guess you just peel them off. It has a nice smell. It smells like a pepperoni pizza. I'm not really picking up much smell from the uh, cheese poppers. Now, we've seen it, we've seen what it looks like. Why don't we go ahead and start off with Joe Bite test number one. We're gonna break it into two segments. We're gonna test, taste test the pizza, and we're gonna taste test the poppers. Let's move on to Joe Bite test number one, engage. Diet Coke. There's plenty of sauce on it. Adequate cheese. I've noticed sometimes if I get Pizza Hut pizza, they don't quite have enough cheese for me. They did this time. It's plenty, it was good. I could taste the sauce. I'm gonna have to go with a 7.1 on the pizza. Y'all know my scale, it's one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience. Eight to nine is something you would travel to another city or across state lines. Seven to eight is very good. Seven and down is a slippery slope to the bottom of the pits of food hell. Now, let's move on to the cheese poppers. Compare them to the size of a Coke can. Look like little chicken nuggets to me, but we know they're not chicken nuggets. Are we ready for the Joe Bite test number two? Joe Bite test, engage.
There's nothing to me in particular that's special about these uh, mozzarella cheese bites. They're not particularly spicy, uh, almost a little on the bland side. Nothing stands out. I'm gonna have to go with a 5.6 on this. I'm gonna give an overall score for the entire deal, taking into account the price and how it tastes. I'm gonna give this pizza as a whole, everything included, a 6.8. I've tried the Cheesy Knots, I've tried the pizza. They're two separate items. If you want some mozzarella cheese poppers, just get an order of mozzarella cheese poppers. You don't need to get a pizza to go with that. If you want to eat them both, get them both. But to stick them on the pizza, I really don't think adds that much to it. If I get this pizza, what I'm gonna do, if I want the poppers, I'm just gonna pick all the poppers of it, fill it up, and then throw the pizza in the refrigerator, which may never ever get eaten. Probably find its way to the trash. On that note, I'm gonna to continue to eat all the rest of the cheese poppers and not share them with anybody. Cause I'm hungry. Joe is hungry. That's a review. If you found this interesting, if you found this useful, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, and we will see you in the next video. I just really didn't look very happy there and certainly weren't happy to see me. New mozzarella popper pizza. Wow, was that shot really worth it?